What's up, guys? The Chicago Bears have wrapped up the rookie minicamp, and there's a couple of things I want to talk about today. Romo Dunze did not practice. We got an injury update from Karan Omegaji. We heard from Shane Waldron, Eric Washington, and, and our special teams coordinator, Coach Hightower. And I wanted to talk about the impact that Caleb Williams is having already on this roster. Let's get right into it. First off, Romo Dunze had some hamstring tightness and did not practice today. Let's remember here, Rome wasn't built in a day. I wanted to say that before everybody commented it. Nothing major, no reason to believe it's a pulled hamstring or anything serious. It's just a minor precaution here. Also, let's remember Rome played through a broken rib and more at Washington. This guy is a warrior. So I'm not worried about this at all right now, even though hamstring issues can tend to linger. But the most interesting thing to talk about with Romo Dunze is something I've mentioned previously and our special teams coach Hightower commented on it today. He said Romo Dunze is in contention to be the Chicago Bears punt returner. I said it and one reason for me is because he is a weapon on the football field and we want to just do anything we can to get him out there on the field. We simply aren't going to run three wide receiver sets on every play. So if DJ Moore and Keenan Allen stay healthy, Rome might be eased into the offense early on. But Hightower mentioned Rome only returned three punts in college, and he took one of them to the house. There is definitely a chance that Rome returns punts for us this year. Keep an eye out on that. Next up, Karan Omegaji gave us a bit of an update on his injury. He said he had his hip surgery in October, so he's definitely on the road to being 100%. He said his body feels great. Also, he is just a massive player and a guy with the perfect attitude to be a Chicago Bear. He talked about what an honor it is to play for his favorite sports team. He grew up in Hinsdale. He said he can play anywhere on the O-line. He doesn't have a favorite spot. He doesn't care about playing tackle or guard. He just wants to play and anything he can do to help the team. He's a guy who just wants to get out there and play offensive line. He doesn't care what position it is, and I think he's a guy who could end up playing anywhere on the line. I see him as a left tackle, but we could even see him as guard if we need him early on. I do think there's a chance he could get into the lineup sooner rather than later. But we need to talk about Caleb Williams and his impact on the culture and this locker room. It's pretty insane if you ask me. Seeing the entire 40-plus guys at minicamp, along with Coach Floos and Ryan Poles, all do the claw and then seeing Eber Flus and Poles do it too. Come on, man. Let's embrace this new era of Chicago Bears football. I'm here for it. Caleb Williams has only been here a couple of weeks and he's already the talk of the entire football world. The guy loves being a Chicago Bear. He's embracing it and his teammates are all buying in. You can tell that these guys want to go to war for Caleb Williams. He's already our starting quarterback. Let's go. And then lastly, our defensive coordinator, Eric Washington, he spoke very highly of Austin Booker. He talked about his energy, his burst, and his ability to get after quarterbacks. This team is really high on Booker. While I do not expect him to be a starter this season, I do expect him to be a big part of the rotation on the defensive line, especially in obvious passing situations where he can best utilize his skill set. Washington also spoke about utilizing every opportunity this offseason to help Jervon Dexter get better. They want to put him in a position to not only be ready to be a starter in year two, but to be an impact player. He mentioned how much better Dexter played down the stretch last season. My money is on Dino Dex making a huge impact this season. That's all for today, guys. I wanted to keep it short and quick. The offseason program is now officially underway. And we do have one move to announce. I expected a flurry of moves. Between today and tomorrow, there's going to be some more moves. But we've already signed cornerback Leon Jones Jr. to the roster after minicamp. That's Arkansas State cornerback Leon Jones Jr. Now officially part of the roster. Signed to an undrafted free agent deal. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be here to break down any more moves and come back to let you know more about Leon Jones Jr. Please remember to hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down.